Yo, what's going on everybody, this is Mystical. Today, I'm going to show you how to fly. Are they all mid? I can fly over them, I can fly over them. I'm out. The reason you want to learn how to do this is because it is extremely useful when you're flag carrying, especially on Twin Peaks when you're Horde and you can just sail across the whole map as you can see in some of these clips. Outside of flag carrying, I think it's actually possible to stop a cap on Eye of the Storm if you have a priest that has Levitate or a Mage with Slowfall. I got very close. I got to the, like, very close to the bridge. I don't, maybe it's not possible, but it's, it gets you to the cap faster, which is really nice. That's why you want to learn this. I'm going to show you how it, it's a combination of about three or four talents that you want that you want to understand. So first of all, my hero talents are Master of Harmony. I'm always playing Master of Harmony when I am fly carrying because it gives you two charges of Thunder Focus T. This is very important. So two charges of Thunder Focus T right here. Normally you have one. You also have Focus Thunder. This makes it so your Thunder Focus T now empowers your next two spells, not just one anymore. And then finally, you have Thunder's Focus T, which is the bread and butter of it, where this makes it so your Thunder Focus T now empowers Crackling Jade Lightning and Roll slash Chi Torpedo. Just to show you what Thunder's Focus T looks like, you see I have Thunder Focus T, I have a Chi Torpedo. So if I Thunder Focus T and then I Chi Torpedo, my charges of Chi Torpedo do not go down because I, I'm playing Thunder's Focus T, which refunds a charge of it. That means you have two charges of Chi Torpedo, you have two charges of Thunder Focus T, and when you press your Thunder's Focus T, you Chi Torpedo and you don't use a charge. So essentially you have six charges of Chi Torpedo if you use them all at the same time. And how you fly is really simple. You pretty much cheat torpedo and dash at the same time. Your dash is called lighter than air. And what this does is when you roll, you become lighter than air, allowing you to double jump to dash forward a short distance once within five seconds with a cooldown of roll or cheat torpedo is increased by two seconds. So when you roll a cheat torpedo, you have this double jump, boom, and you can dash. And the rotation is right here, by the way. So if you want to know the rotation, it's just right here. If you want me to move this position, let me know or make this bigger. Like, please let me know. I'm happy putting this literally anywhere so you start off by pressing thunder focus t and then you're going to cheat torpedo and dash at the same time so you're going to cheat torpedo dash cheat torpedo dash thunder focus t roll dash roll dash roll dash roll dash so that's six cheat torpedoes right there and look how far i got i literally i got from what all the way over here this little this tower right there to over here in the shortest amount of time ever and i don't take any damage and i'm if you're in a battleground, you're halfway across the map. And of course, remember, on Warsaw Gulch, you can go on top of like tunnel and you could just do the same thing over and over again. And one last time, the most important thing about this is just practicing. I took me a day or two to really get this down, but just practice. I practice on top of this tower. I died a few times. So you're perfectly fine if you died a few times, I promise. So normally you're going to be pressing Chi G, Thunder Focus T, and then you're going to roll off, dash, Chi Torpedo, dash, Thunder Focus T, dash. Chi Torpedo Dash, Chi Torpedo Dash, and then Chi Torpedo Dash. And there you go. You are halfway across the map with the flag. Hopefully in Twin Peaks, even worse than Gulch, if you do it well, you should be about halfway across the map. You can just sail straight over people. And I'm going to leave you with a few examples of this in real time when I was streaming. So if you have any questions at all, please let me know. I'm more than happy to answer any questions you might have. And that is it for me. Hope everyone has a fantastic rest of the day. Hope you enjoyed the video. And I'll see you later. These guys aren't gonna know what hit them as soon as I start flying. These guys, these guys are gonna be so confused. They're gonna be like, "Oh, yeah, we'll kill, we'll kill the flag carrier. We'll kill the flag carrier." And then you just see him. You just see me fly across the map, and they're like, "Never mind. We don't have the flag carrier." Brett, didn't do any damage? I just flew across the entire map. He just flew. <laughs> just flew from their base. I only, if I get two charges of Thunder Focus T, I should be able to get it. Three seconds, yeah, I should be able to.